In this lesson, we learn how to use character strings in R. We're not going to get into a great discussion of strings, just a few important things that are used quite often. So after successfully completing this lesson, you will be able to create string values and assign them to variables. You will use a commonly used function called paste to concatenate strings. And the paste function has an important argument called sep and we'll learn about that. That's about it for this lesson. Okay, so strings are su surrounded with double quotes or with single quotes. So you can create a string literal or a string constant. For example, Sean here is a string constant because it's a set of characters enclosed within quotes. And what we did is assigned that value to a variable with the name x. And we took another string called pen, assigned that to a variable named y. And there are some useful string functions. For example, n char for string gives you how many characters there are in a string. And there's another function to concatenate strings and that function is called paste. Paste and then you give the strings that you want to concatenate. It could have two or more arguments. Often it's just two arguments. So when we say paste x comma y, it's going to paste together the two strings. But the paste function does a little bit extra by default. Notice that in addition to concatenating the two strings, it also added a space character in between. Okay. Now, you might want it, you might not want it, and we have complete control over that. So let's see how to do that. So again, we've got the same two strings. So now I'm saying paste y comma x. This time I've changed the arguments around. So first will be pen and then Sean. And then I'm saying the separator between the two strings should be comma space. Right, because that's what is within the quotes here. So I said within quotes, comma, space. So what's going to happen is it's going to show us pen, comma, Sean, space, Sean. Okay, so we have control over what comes in between the, the character strings that are concatenated. So again, we're looking at the same two things. This time I'm saying I don't want anything to be there between the two character strings that are being concatenated. So I'm saying sep equals the null. That is quote, quote. There's nothing in between them. There's no space. There's nothing in between. It's just quote, quote. So in this case, you'll just see Sean Penn, right? Of course, the order is X, Y. Therefore, Sean first and Penn later. Okay, so that's it. Those are the things that we'll be using commonly with respect to strings. So we learned how to create string literals by using single or double quotes. Although I did not show you an example with single quotes, you could do that. We saw how to assign string literals to variables. For example, when we said x is assigned the value Sean, that's exactly what we did. And then we used the paste function, the default implementation of the paste function, which simply puts a space between the strings you're concatenating. And then I showed you how to use the sep argument to control what comes between the character strings that are being concatenated. So that's a really short lesson on how to use strings.